Hey guys, so I'm actually filming this from the bathroom right now. Um, this isn't going to be the best video. I haven't slept in two days. Uh, my mother has been up all night. And last night it was clear she was intentionally trying to wake me up. You know how people will provoke and kind of hit you and, and, and nudge you and, and cough louder and, and say something very loudly and then say, Oh, are you awake? Yeah. Um, she's been doing that. She's been, you know, uh, she's also been, uh, in the bathroom shouting and screaming about Satan this, Satan that. Yeah, I, I haven't slept much. And I, I tried, yesterday I tried to make up for it a little bit during the day, but it's not possible. I, I, I this is a studio. You know, I'm not good around, I'm not comfortable around people and it's, it's not just social phobia, it's almost like I can feel their energy, and I don't mean in a, in a supernatural way. I need my space. I've always been that way. I, I need space. Th this, this would be hard, even if the person I was living with was mentally stable. But I'm, I'm clawing out of my skin right now. I need, and that's why I'm in the bathroom. I, I just needed space for a little while. This is brutal. I love her, but I need to get away for, for it. And now we can't even, caregivers can't even go, um, we can't even really do anything else around the building because of the rules that say that, uh, the, the new rules, I can't even think right now, I'm so tired. But, um, you know, there was like a sun deck or something that people could usually go in and walk around, and, and I didn't anyway because I didn't want to, I was afraid of being falsely accused of something because every time I am somewhere, it seems like someone is trying to accuse me of something and pointing their finger at me, so I didn't anyway, but having the option was nice, and now we don't even have that option, so it's not even like there's an escape plan B, right? Um, anyway, so on Thursday I had a, a telehealth appointment with my doctor. And I wasn't going to, to bring this up. And initially, I was supposed to go in, but she changed it to a telehealth appointment. And she said my blood pressure is fine because I've been taking my blood pressure at home. She said my blood pressure is fine. You know, she, she said it's okay. Um, and then I, I brought up something that I wasn't going to, but I figured I, at this point I need to do it just for myself. I brought up the issue of autism. And, you know, I, I said, you know, I think this is something that I might have. And I made another video about that before a while back if you want to go check that out um anyway so yeah I, and she said well she would she would uh send me a list of uh referrals and i could choose a, i could choose one so she had um one of her staff members send me a list of referrals and when i got the email it showed the, the, the staff member's name the person who sent the, the list and her last name was lackey yep now, lackey is something that I've called the perpetrators. I've called them lackeys. Uh, before I, I heard about organi organized stalking, I knew that I was being followed, and I knew that um, whoever was following me, you know, eventually I figured it out. They were working for someone else, so I called them lackeys. And since, you know, and I, I've spoken about this too, and so now they have people, you know, once they had someone walk out of the building in a group and the woman on the back of her shirt, it said lackey. Once they had someone drive by with a license plate that said Lackey. Uh, a few times they've set up networks that said Lackey. And now the, the last name of the person who sent me the referrals for the psychiatrist is Lackey. So I don't know that I'm going to actually call to make the appointment. I don't want my life to get any worse. Uh, you know, I think at this point the chance of getting an accurate diagnosis is slim. They're more likely to diagnose me with paranoia or delusions because I've already told my doctor about, you know, being followed and and things like that, and she even, you know, suggested that, you know, she even had a, um, a behavioral health specialist come in to see me, so, when I was there. So, the last thing I need is to be written up as, as you know, paranoid, delusional, and then, you know, get discredited even more, so that I can't get help anywhere, you know, from the cops, from anyone. It's not that we get much help now, but that can get worse, right? You know, paranoid, if that's written down on your in your chart. These things have to be shared with the government now, the diagnosis. So, you know, at that point, a person isn't going to get help from anyone. Um, 
Yeah, so I, I don't know that I'm actually going to go see a provider. It would be nice at this point to finally have confirmation of what is actually wrong with me, just for my own benefit, but also in some cases, you know, for other people, so that they know why I am the way I am, that I'm not just this horrible person, that I'm not just bad or, you know, impatient or, or whatever it is they think of me, so that they understand, you know, why I am this way. And I, I, I can't help but, but think about how much easier my life would have been if I had gotten an accurate diagnosis as a child, and people would have known why I am the way I am. Um, but it might not be a good idea now. I, I, the chance, as I said, the chance of getting an accurate diagnosis is very slim. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I just wanted to follow up. There, there was something else I had to say. I just, I don't, I don't even remember it right now. Peace.